guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another installation to my new segment, which is some of my favorite covers. Today I'm going to be talking about all of my, well, three <laughs> of my favorite suspense slash mystery covers in my, in my personal collection. I the first one I'm going to talk about is Conspiracy of Silence by Ronnie Kindig. I like the editing, it's a little uh, grainy which I think just really embodies what the story is about in the military. And if you've seen the covers for the rest of the series, you know that they are just all gorgeous and I love seeing them together. And I really love that Tox is the center of all three just because there isn't a whole lot of that in Christian fiction and I think that that's really, really cool. The next book I'm going to talk about is A Fool in His Monet by Sandra Orchard. This is such a fun cover. It's not, it doesn't lead you to believe that it's going to be a freaky, type dark mystery. It's, it just leads you to believe it's going to be fun and artsy. When not a super out there cover, but I love the color and I love the black to white ratio. And the last book that I'm going to talk about, <laughs> that book is Oath of Honor by Lynette Eason. And I absolutely love this cover and the covers to book two and three, which book two is already out and book three is not out yet, but I've seen the cover since it is on Goodreads and oh my word, the series is going to look great. But it's just very suspensey, you know? It just grabs your attention and I love the cool colors of the book. I think suspense books that are cool colors normally grab my attention just because it leads me to believe that it's going to be, you know, I really don't know how to explain this other than the fact that I really enjoy the cover and I think that it's really cool. And yeah. So again, these were three of my favorite mystery, suspense, military <laughs> books on my shelf. Again, I don't have a ton of this genre just because I'm slowly getting back into it, but these books normally have some really interesting covers and I can't wait to add to my collection. Don't forget to check out my blog for the love of Christian fiction .blogspot.com and you can also check out my Instagram which is for the love of Christian fiction. All my other links are in the description box below and I think that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye!